Hello YouTube, this is Dave the NES Guy and welcome to my N64 collection video. In this video I want to share with you some of my favorite games, some of my rare or valuable games, my consoles and uh, accessories. My collection currently stands at 88 games. I have a few in the box. I have four consoles and many different accessories, some of them inside the box and some of them outside the box. The N64 is definitely one of my favorite gaming consoles of all time. Some of my most favorite games are on this system. A lot of games also that I didn't discover until I was older. The reason I like to collect for the N64 is basically for a collector, there's so much variety out there with the different console variants, the colored controllers, and the boxes. The boxes are really well detailed and beautiful. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoy my N64 collection. I've divided it into a few different sections, and up next are the consoles. So I basically have one box console and three loose. The first one is the Atomic Purple set. I have the Jungle Green N64, the Pokemon Pikachu 64, and the Ice Blue 64. The Atomic Purple is really interesting because growing up, this is the exact system that I had. It's the one that I actually traded somebody for for my SNES. I love having it in the box. The box is in really good condition. I've actually upgraded the box a couple of times over the years and I don't know, I, I need to have at least one console in the box per collection. The Jungle Green, Ice Blue and Blue Pikachu systems, those are really awesome as well. I'm, I'm really happy to have them and when I started collecting for the N64 I wasn't too keen on getting all the fantastic systems but as I'm going along I find it much more interesting and it's slowly becoming a goal of mine to actually start to get these consoles into my collection. I have three boxed accessories including the expansion pack, the rumble pack, and the controller pack. I also have two loose accessories, the Game Shark and the Game Boy transfer pack. Finally, I also have six controllers, or sorry, I should say six controllers of different colors. From what I understand, there's 16 total that were released in North America. I think I'd like to get them all eventually. Alright, so to start off right away, I have to say that GoldenEye, oh, it has to be, like it's in my top three, absolutely. This is the game that got me into the N64. I originally traded my SNES to somebody for the N64, and I gave him a whole whack load of money as well, I remember that. But man, I love this game. I lived in this game. I lived in facility. Like, I was there, I knew every nook and cranny of this game. All the cheats, the multiplayer, the missions. The game is just phenomenal, and it's one of my favorites. And that game is the reason why I bought Perfect Dark. And I remember waiting for Perfect Dark to come out as a kid, going online and looking at screenshots of the game, and I was just so pumped. I remember I went and picked it up on a Tuesday, and I, I love that game, and I, I dare say I love it a little bit more than GoldenEye. Like, it doesn't have the nostalgia for me, but the game is just perfect. The guns in the game are awesome, the storyline is great, everything about it is awesome. The Star Wars series was phenomenal. Shadows of the Empire had to be the first game that I actually felt like I was part of the Star Wars universe. Rogue Squadron was such a great experience and so enjoyable to play. Even Star Wars Racer was a pretty good game. Of course, Mario Kart. Who doesn't love Mario Kart? For me, it's my favorite of all time. Some of the best tracks ever. Super Mario 64 is another one that I really like. I actually didn't really play this as a kid. I played it like a little bit. Um, it's because I didn't own it. And I didn't really fall in love with the game until I was older and I got to play it. I loved the, the star system of trying to collect all 120 stars. It just kept you playing in, in, in a way that Nintendo can get you to keep playing. Zelda Ocarina of Time was another game I didn't play as a kid. I don't say anything about this game. It's amazing. 
Finally, uh, Wave Race was another game that I really enjoyed playing as a kid, and Windback, surprisingly. Windback is a neat game, it's kind of like a first person shooter. My most rare or valuable game would definitely be Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have it in the box, it's mint. It's also one of my favorite games for the system. I would say it's probably the best overall experience on the N64. The dialogue is so engaging and it is such a unique game. According to my N64 collector app and even Rarity Guide, Vigilante 8 Second Offense is one of my more rare games. The Mario Parties, Mario 64, and Super Smash Bros are also up there surprisingly. Even Banjo-Tooie are some of my more rare slash valuable games. So for some of my collection goals, I want to add more of the Fantastic Series consoles into my collection, including the Gold N64. I want to add some blockbuster exclusives like Clay Fighter's 63 and 1 3rd Sculptor's Cut, Stunt Racer, and Beast Wars. Uh, I also want to add some of the, the better games on the system, games that I still haven't found, or at least haven't found at a good price. One of them being Zelda's Majora's Mask, uh, another one being Paper Mario and Harvest Moon. Finally, I want to play more games on the N64. I find I always go to the NES or SNES, and three games I want to play are Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and Diddy Kong Racing. I know these are top 10 games for most people, and I know I would really like them. So yeah, those are some of my collection goals for my N64 collection. I'm going to be doing an update of my collection every summer. I want to see how it's grown, what I've acquired over the year, and maybe what surprised me, what, like, what I've added to my collection. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This was my N64 collection. I really hope you enjoyed it. I intend on doing collection videos for a couple of my other consoles as the summer goes on. And yeah, thanks again. Cheers. I couldn't help but remark at how pathetic it looks down here. I mean, look at how I'm filming. I have two IKEA lamps facing my couch with, you know, a sleeping bag turned inside out. That is quality production.